I guess that's the other thing to add in there to start with. Here's something for you. When Regina and I got together, <clears throat> we worked together, we played together, we did everything together. We lived together. We were attached at the hip for two years. And honestly, the challenges in our relationship, the real challenges in our relationship, didn't start until, well, until we stopped working together, until one of us was staying home and one of us was going. And we weren't spending all of our time together. That is when we had challenges. So, and here we are now, 20 years later, and we get along best when we spend almost all of our time together, you know? That, that's a real important part of living on a sailboat and going to foreign countries where you don't speak the language. You have to really like spending time with each other. I mean, you have to really, really, really actually enjoy being in the same room, potentially within the same six you know, square feet with this person all day, every day. You have to like that. If you don't like that, this might not be the right thing for you. <laughs> you are going to spend a lot of time together or you are going to spend a lot of money. <laughs> you can spend a lot of time together and spend a lot of money, but you cannot really effectively spend a whole lot of time apart without spending a bit of money. Yeah. I think it also really helps that we, we both have really simple tastes. You know, um, there, are, there are times when you could feed Regina beans and tortillas and cheese every day for every meal for months. You know? Um, and there are times where... With salsa. Yeah, with salsa. There are times where I can live with that for months, you know. Um, that's how we can do it low dollar. That's how we've done it low dollar. Uh, this trip that we're doing with my dad is different. This boat is full of luxuries. There's air conditioning, there's refrigeration, there's freezer. There, you know, I mean, my dad's a bit of a gourmet cook, you know. Um, Bill got home from his travels in the States and, you know, we kind of faked it for a couple of days until grocery day and when the bus came and we, we all got on the bus and, well, Bill and I got on the bus and went to Eldon's and, you know, spent $400 restocking the boat and came home and he, he's cooked two meals every day since then. It's now Friday. We did the, the, trip, the trip on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Two meals each day. One to eat and one to get bagged up and go into the freezer. You know? We now have half a dozen meals in the freezer. You know, and that's meals for the, the whole crew in the freezer. And when I finish bagging up the chili tomorrow morning, we'll have another half dozen meals in the freezer. Plus, tonight's dinner is going to get put away and it's a whole other meal. You know, it's, uh, it's been an intense few days, honestly. <laughs> uh, that's such a disjointed video. I, I really honestly don't know what you're going to be able to do with that. <laughs>